Namaste. Yoga is the science of the self. Above all, remember kindness and generosity towards all beings, and then you will find success in the physical practices. In this sequence, we will focus on the lung and large intestine meridians. These are located in the arms, shoulders, and upper chest. The lung organ reaches all the way above the collarbones. It's important to remember this in these practices. It's related to the throat chakra here at the base of the throat. The lung meridian extends from the lung down the outer biceps the forearm and into the thumbs. So we will be working in the thumbs as well to open the chest, upper chest, base of the throat and the lung organ. The large intestine meridian is located in the upper chest as well. It extends from the index finger up the back of the arm, across the front of the shoulder here, up these muscles here, the scalene muscles and the platysmal muscle in the neck, up over the mouth to the opposite nostril. So it's related to the breath as well through the nostrils. Both the lung and large intestine are related to the metal element, which is about purification of the body. In the lung, we see the exhale ridding the body of carbon dioxide and impurities. And the large intestine, of course, works to purify the body from food waste and other impurities. The emotion related to both of these organs is sadness, which is another form of purification, letting go of things that have been lost. This emotion you may notice, weighs down heavy on the upper chest. So as we work through this sequence, try to release the upper chest, the upper thoracic vertebrae, as well as any sadness. Let's begin the sequence. We'll start actually doing arm circles. Take your left hand and press here into the upper chest on the right side. It's under the collarbone and inside the shoulder. You may feel a little hole here. This is an important point on the lung meridian. It helps to open the upper chest. It's also the place where the pec minor muscle originates. Now, while you're pressing here, extend out through your right thumb and start to make big circles. Now, go in the other direction. Keep pushing deep into the hole and reach through your thumb, rotating your arm forwards. Keep an opening on the right side of the chest. Now, take your right hand and press into the left side of the upper chest here, under the collarbone and inside the shoulder. As you press here, try to feel the deep muscles within that hole. Extend out through your left thumb now and start reaching back, making large circles. Keep pressing as you reach around, opening through the lung meridian. Now go in the other direction. Keep reaching through your thumb and pressing deep into this space in the upper chest. It's actually right outside the root cage, inside the shoulder. Good, and release. You should feel an opening and expansion here in the top of the chest and lung. Now, come to stand at the front of your mat. And we'll do some special sun salutations. Reach up and back, you know. Now exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look forward. 
lengthen your back and bend your knees here if you like. And then step or jump back to a plank position. Lower your knees, chest and chin to the floor and stay here. Press your chest into the floor and lift your chin and stretch it more forward. Now slide your chest forward and push your pubic bone down. Arch your back, lift your chest. Back into downward facing dog. In the first downward facing dog, you should bend your knees so that your abdomen can relax and your spine lengthen, relax your neck. Spread all of your fingers out, but especially root through the thumbs. As you root down through your thumbs, see if you can feel an opening in the top of your chest. Now look forward and step or jump forward between your hands. Exhale, fold. Now reach all the way up and back. Inhale, look forward, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step or jump back. Lower knees, chest, chin again. Stay here. Stretch your chin forward. You can walk your knees in. Keep breathing normal. Arching your upper back. Now push your pubic bone down and slide your chest forward and up. And here, lifting your chest, breathing through your thumbs. Push back downward facing dog. Immediately push through the base of your thumb and index finger to open the top of your chest. Now step or jump forward and fold. Inhale, reach all the way up and back. Step forward. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step back to plank. Lower knees, chest, chin. And last one, hold a little bit longer. Walk your knees in, arch your upper back, stretch your chin more forward. And most of all, keep breathing. Even expanding into the top of your chest. Remember that your lung organ comes all the way to your collarbones. Now, push your pubic bone down, slide your chest forward, and lift your upper chest, and breathe. Push back, downward facing dog. Pressing through the thumb and index fingers to open the top of the chest and lung. Now, come forward to plank and lower down to the floor. Come up into upward facing dog, pushing your thumbs down especially. Lift and extend the top of your chest. You want your collarbones to be parallel to the floor. Push your thumbs down, lift down. And expand your chest upwards. You can lift your chin if you like. Keep breathing. Pushing your thumbs down, lifting your chest up. Back on your heels. Now we'll do the meridian stretches for the long and large intestine. Extend your arms out to the sides, palms facing upward. Let your arms feel completely weightless, releasing your shoulders down away from your ears and reaching out, in this case, through your thumbs, both of your thumbs. Imagine you can extend out from the top of your chest in the same point we worked on through the thumbs. These stretches are a little bit different from the other postures in yoga. You might feel a tingling, burning, or a pulling sensation as you reach and reach through your thumbs. 
this kind of sensation is good, and it should stop as soon as you stop the posture. Most importantly, continue to breathe, expanding all the way to the top of the lung, which is at the base of the throat. Keep reaching and expanding to release tension from inside the organ on the deepest level of the body. Now for the large intestine stretch, turn your right palm down and reach through the index finger. Turn your face to the left. So you're stretching all the way from your right index finger. You should feel a stretch over the front of your shoulder and your throat. And then bring your left chin or your chin towards your left shoulder like this. But don't raise your shoulder. Keep your shoulders down and just feel an increased stretch across the front of the right shoulder and throat. Continue breathing normal, expanding even the top of your lungs you inhale. And then do the other side. Turn your left palm down and reach through your left index finger. Reach far and then turn your face to the right. Bring your chin towards your right shoulder. It doesn't have to come all the way down, but reach towards your right shoulder. Keep your left shoulder down, reaching away. And then continue breathing to expand the top of the lung and intensify the stretch. This is for the large intestine, ready. Now, come to lie down on your abdomen. Bring your chin forward, keep your feet together, and interlace your fingers behind you. Squeeze your palms together, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and then lift up into a cobra. This can be a low cobra. Keep the tops of your feet pressing down into the floor, and your pubic bone pushing down into the floor. Reach your arms back and expand and open the front of your chest. Stay in the pose. Remember, you don't need to make extreme effort in these postures. Just stay focused and concentrate. The concentration is more important. Expand the breath into the Top of the lung and chest at the collarbones. Now release, relax, and turn your face to one side. Now come up onto your elbows, and I'll show you the next stretch. It looks like a thigh stretch, but it actually works on the front of the shoulder. If possible, bring your hand to the top of your left foot, pointing your fingers forward. And then move the breath into the top of your left chest, arching your upper back. It may be necessary to hold your ankle like this, but you can still open the top of your chest. If possible, press your foot down with your fingers forward. Make sure that your elbow is pointing straight back and your knee pointing straight back. Continue to breathe. Release. Do the other side. Bend your right knee. And if possible, take the top of your foot with your fingers pointing forward. Remember, this is to open the top of your chest and the front of your right shoulder. Breathe into the right arm. Point your right elbow exactly backward, and keep your right knee pointing back as well. Nice. Just relax. The next posture, you'll be stretching the base of your throat, trying to bring the base of your throat flat onto the mat and stretching the throat skin also towards the floor. 
It seems like this is a throat stretch, but actually you're stretching the very top part of your chest and back in order to lengthen the neck. Bring your chin down, your chest down, and stick your butt up high. You can walk your knees in a little bit more. Keep lifting and stretching your chin forward. Stay in the posture and maintain the breath. So if you have difficulty breathing, then you need to back up out of the posture. Walk your knees back a little bit. If this is easy, walk your knees in more. Raise your seat higher and stretch your chin more forward. Stay here and breathe. Try to get the skin of your throat flat down on the floor by arching your upper back. If possible, interlace your fingers behind you, raise your shoulders off the floor, and raise your arms up. Keep breathing normal. Now release your hands under your shoulders. You're going to move directly into the cobra pose. Keep your chin lifting. Slide your chest forward and push your pubic bone down. Now your upper body is the same, but your hips are on the floor. Loosely expanding the top of your chest, breathing into your throat and top of your lungs. And release. Press back into a downward facing dog. Relax. Remember to root through the thumbs and index finger to open the top of your chest. Now, raise your left leg straight up. Feel that you can extend through your left toes and all the way through the left side of the body through your left fingers. And then move your breath into the left lung. Feel the expansion of the left lung and notice how that supports the opening of your left shoulder. The organs can support the joints. Release, and raise your right leg now. Extend through your right toes, all the way through the right side of the body, through your right fingertips. Even deeper, now into the lung. Move your breath into the right lung, and notice how that supports the opening of the right shoulder. Now release your right leg down and let the body be equal. But continue to feel the expansion of the lungs and how they support the opening of the shoulders. Release. Now come to a standing position. We'll do the standing bow posture to open the long and large intestine meridian in this case. Remember you don't have to push too deep in these postures, so use so about 50% effort. We'll be concentrating on the large intestine meridian mostly. Stand on your right leg, and in this case, grab from the outside of your ankle. Have your knees together. Point your left index finger straight back. Raise your right arm and then kick back as you reach forward. Remember, don't go too deep. Keep reaching back through your left index finger. Keep your hips facing forward. And then start to bring your chin down towards your right shoulder. So that you feel that same large intestine stretch that we did earlier from your index finger through the opposite nostril. Keep moving the breath. And 
Jesus. Let's do the other side. Stand on your left leg now and hold from the outside of your right knee. Point your right index finger straight back already. Raise your left arm up and then kick back with your right foot as you reach forward with your left shoulder and arm. You don't have to go too deep, just concentrate. Keep reaching back through your right index finger and bring your chin down towards your left shoulder. So you can feel a stretch in the right side, large intestine really. From your right index finger, through the opposite muscle. Come to a seated position. We'll do the Marichiasana series to stimulate the large intestine. Bring your left foot flat to the floor. You can bring your foot so your heel is fairly close to your sit bone. First, just squeeze your thigh, your knee into your armpit and try to sit up exactly straight. Your right leg could be bent if you need to. If your right leg is straight, make your leg active like you're standing on it, toes pointing straight up. Now, lean forward to the inside of your left knee. And then, reach around the front of your shin, and if possible, grab your hands behind you. You can also use a strap here. Keep hugging your thigh into your rib cage and release your head down. Folding forward. Use the breath now. Breathe down into your abdomen to massage the colon, the large intestine. Release. Other side now. Bend your right knee. Place your foot flat on the floor, heel close to your sit bone. First start by squeezing your knee in and sitting up tall. You could stay right here. If this is easy, you can go to the inside of your right leg, lean forward and bind. Reach around the front of your right shin and see if you can grab your arms behind you. Remember, keep your left leg active. Now fold forward, just release your head down. Breathe down into your abdomen, squeezing, hugging your thigh into your rib cage, stimulating the right side of the colon. Then release. Now bend your left again, back to the same position. And we're going to twist. So you can place your left hand on the floor behind you and then just twist across. Or if you're more flexible, you can place your elbow to the outside. Or if you want to do the full posture, find in front of your shin and twist. Keep your right leg active. Now breathe. Release. Bring your right foot flat to the floor and twist to the right. So you can have your right hand on the floor and just hug your knee like this. Or bring your elbow to the outside. Or if you're more flexible, bind your arms like this. Keeping your left leg active. Breathe into the diaphragm. We'll move into some longer holds of the postures now. Starting with the camel pose. If you're less flexible, start with your toes turned under so that it's easier to reach your heels. Place your hands on your lower back. 
Push your hips forward, lift your chest. Now reach back through your heels. You want to have your thumbs on the inside of your heels and your fingers on the outside. Push your hips forward and lift your chest. Release your head back. Keep pushing your thumb down and reach your chest up. Lift and expand the top of your chest. Move the breath all the way up into your collarbones. Stay in pose. If you're more flexible, you can bring your feet flat to the floor like this. Keep reaching down through your thumb and reaching up through your chest. And long. Continue to breathe and focus. Concentrate. See the lung organ expanding inside the chest. Now bring your hands to your lower back. Come up and sit down on your heels. There's a nice point here on the inner forearm. If you follow the thumb to the outer crease of the elbow, you can press here about halfway up and massage to release any tension um, in the lung meridian. Part of the beauty of the meridian system is that you can release the entire pathway by pressing on one of the more powerful points along that path. Now lay down on your back. Now bring your knees into your chest. Just hug your knees. Keep your sacrum and seat down on the floor. Don't lift your seat. Wrap your arms around your shins and pull your knees towards your armpits. Most importantly here is diaphragmatic breathing. The lungs are attached to the diaphragm on the top surface. As the diaphragm moves down, the lungs fill up and the colon is massaged. Stimulating the peristalsis or movement of the large intestine. Keep breathing down as if you could draw your breath all the way down to the navel. See the body releasing all impurities. Now, now, release your knees over to the left side. Extend your left arm out, reaching through your left index finger, and turn your head to the right. So you're stretching again through the large intestine meridian, from the left index finger through the right nostril. Turn your head, breathe normal, and relax your throat. Try to visualize the pathway. Reaching from the left index finger, up across the front of the shoulder, the throat, over your mouth to the right nostril. Now bring your knees back to the center and extend your knees over to the right side. Turn your face to the left. Reach through your right index finger this time, keeping your shoulders down. Try to feel the stretch from your right index finger across the front of your right shoulder and throat, extending to the left nostril. Close your eyes if you like, concentrate and visualize this line to go deeper into the posture. Now release, bring your knees back to the center and extend your legs straight, relax. The next posture we'll do is shoulder stand. You'll be pressing your chest into this point here in the base of the throat. Shoulder stand helps to master the chin lock, the throat lock, Jalandhara Bandha. 
But it also helps to release any tension in the lungs by emphasizing the exhale. Feel your knees. Place your hands on your lower back and walk your seat, your hands up your back as you raise your seat higher. Take a few breaths to get adjusted into the posture. And then walk your shoulders underneath you. So this is a beginner variation. If you're more flexible, you can raise your seat a little bit higher. If you have any problems in your neck, you should skip this posture. Now close your eyes and concentrate in the base of your throat. Allow your breath to normalize. The breath should be smooth and even. The mind relaxed. If we hold this posture for a few more moments, you'll notice that the exhale becomes more complete, releasing tension in the lung organ. Bend your knees and allow your knees to come to your ears, bring your feet to the floor, rounding your back. Stay here and concentrate just for a few seconds. Interlace your fingers behind you and stretch your arms to the floor. Now slowly lower your seat down so that your seat rests on your arms. Bring your feet down, palms down, press your elbows down, and lift your chest. Release your head back all the way, stretching your chin back. Rest on the top of your head, opening the base of your throat. Keep pushing your elbows down to lift your chest and breathe. Now push your elbows down, lift your chest, up your chin, and lay down flat for Shavasana. Relax your body completely. Stay here as I guide you through a short Shavasana. Allow your body to become heavier and heavier with each exhale. Sinking down, releasing all tension and impurity. Focus your attention on the upper chest and lung. See the upper chest relax as the energy moves out through the thumbs and index fingers. No tension in the base of the throat. The collarbone, the upper chest, the front of the shoulders, the biceps, the forearms, thumbs, and index fingers. Completely relax. As the body relaxes, it heals itself.
stay in Shavasana as long as you like. May all beings everywhere benefit from this practice through us. Thank you for joining me.